Right, for my planet, I'm going to go with... Ooh. I'm going to do it like an ice planet, so I'm going to use lots of whites and blues just because I've got a, a bluish paper, so... We're leaving quite a few gaps in. To allow the blue of this to shine through. Probably going to cut the picture off here so I can just ignore this bit. I'll probably ignore the little bit at the base as well. Don't need to worry about that. As we've done in the other ones, use the the colour not only to actually add colour but also to add texture to make it look like little I don't know what they'd be glaciers or, or whatever they would be the ice formations. closer to where we are make sure that we've got some sharper lines in the distance it doesn't matter so much as we get close you've just got better focus so we can see things a little bit more clearly Hopefully you can see that I'm not thinking too much about this. I'm just throwing the colour on and your imagination just fills in the gaps for you. And then the last thing I'm going to do, again, we've got a yellowish light source. And so the light's going to be coming in from behind and slightly above. So I'm just going to be catching a few areas. With the light. So you're not going to get any on the back of these glaciers these ice rocks whatever they are but we'll just catch it on the edges yep and that's me done <laughs> 